Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to install hands onto your watch. Personally, this is one of the hardest steps that I had to get used to when I first got into modifying watches. But once you get the hang of it, it gets pretty easy. The tools that you need for this particular tutorial is your movement, your handset, a precision tweezer, or some Rodico. Rodico is just basically this uh, sticky putty material that's meant for cleaning or picking up stuff specifically for watchmaking and a watch installation tool. This is a hand press. You can get it very cheaply on eBay. The other option is hand press tools, which basically looks like this portion here. It's just this tool where you have to manually push into hands without the other component here. Something optional would be a loop. Now this does come in very handy, especially for hand installation to make sure there is enough clearance between the hands when you're pressing them on. This one is a 15X I believe and I like this one because I can wrap this around my head without having to hold it as I work on the watch. So the first step is to get the tool and usually with these tools they don't have anything protecting the movement from the actual metal tool here. So what I do is I just get a piece of uh, padding here or leather Put it right here so that I don't scratch the movement. Next would be to place the watch movement right here and make sure that the hand tool when pressed down goes directly onto the center of the dial where the cannon pinion is. With most of these tools they come with various size dies with different size hole openings. This one is the smallest opening hole and it is 40 seconds hand. To install these different dies is very easy. These are just friction fit so you can just pull it in and out. So the first step will be to install the hours hand. The hours hand is all the way at the bottom then followed by your minutes. Lastly your seconds hand. A tip that I can give you is to rotate your watch so that it is perpendicular to the tool so meaning that the 12 o'clock position is on your right side or your left side and what that allows you to do is have a better look at the centering of the hands to make sure that it's perfectly aligned up at the 12 o'clock position now for watches with complications mostly a day and a date i would recommend that you make sure that the movement is exactly at the 12 o'clock position in terms of the minutes and hours hand the second hands doesn't really matter but you want to make sure that the hour and minutes hand is going to be at the 12 o'clock position. Just because the hands look like they are at noon doesn't mean that the movement corresponds to noon. It's especially hard to know what position the movement is in without the hands being there. So a tip that I can give you is you would install the stem back onto the movement, pull it out all the way, and just wait for that day change to happen. Now you want to be very, very slow with this because you want to stop the moment the date window changes. As you can see, it's starting to change and that means the minutes hand is somewhere around the 50 to 0 position. There. That's perfectly at the 12 o'clock position. So once you know that the watch is perfectly at the 12 o'clock position, I like to remove the stem so that it doesn't get in the way when I install my hands. So align your cannon pinion with the tool again so it's perfectly at the center. Make sure you have the correct size die. And here you can either use Rodico or your tweezers. So I like to use Rodico when grabbing the hands because it won't be hard enough to scratch anything like tweezers can possibly do. Once you have the hand attached, align it up with the cannon pinion like so. Push down to grab the hand and in this step what I like to do is I like to get a uh, toothpick to help me align the hand up before really pushing it down for good so get it centered as much as possible and once it's centered push down now don't push too hard otherwise you can run the risk of bending the hand so after you set the hand what I like to do is I like to take the loop and make sure that the hand is seated properly the hand has seated pretty well in this case and so you repeat the same thing for the minutes hand it's the exact same procedure grab it with your tool align your hand to the cannon pinion align it up with the toothpick if necessary once it's aligned up push down now once the minutes hand is seated properly, the last step will be to put on the second hand. Now you have to be very careful when putting on the second hand because it is the thinnest of the hands so it is the most fragile and you want to be placing the least amount of pressure onto this hand compared to the other hands. Now unlike the other hands, the second hand actually has a little pin on the bottom of it and that's because this is where it fits into the cannon pinion 
So we want to align that little pin up with the hole on the cannon pinion. And this is arguably the most annoying step, but you can get it done. If your watch movement is charged, then it should begin moving as soon as you get it installed. So uh, that's about it. That's how you install watch hands onto a movement. You just need the right tools, a lot of patience, and some tips that I can give you is make sure everything is aligned before you push it down. Get in real close with the loop so that you make sure everything is in line with the cannon pinion. Otherwise, if you push down without it being aligned up, you can bend the hands and make them unusable. After you install the hands, the last step I can give you is take your loop and look at the spacing in between the hands to make sure that the hands aren't touching when they are stacked up. Having hands that rub against each other over time can potentially cause wear and also obviously alter or affect the timekeeping. Right here you can see that the hands are spaced nicely. They aren't touching so the placement was done pretty well. So that's about it. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more watch videos like this.